In 2014, Holsim Lanka added 600,000 metric tons of cement production capacity to our asset portfolio in Ruhunu cement plant to cater the demand. This increase of the production capacity and the cement demand of the market increased the clinker imports approximately by 500,000 metric tons per annum. Prior to this expansion, raw material is imported mainly from India and Malaysia through the Goa port using small vessels of the capacity under 10,000 metric tons. Supplies to the Puttalam plant were initially imported via the Kalambu port using Handymax vessels and their rafter were transported to Puttalam using trucks which undertook long journeys. Scarcity of high quality clinker in South Asia due to domestic demand prompted Holsim Lanka to look for alternatives in countries such as Vietnam, China and Thailand. However, reaching distant locations with handy size and minibar carriers was not making economic sense. Also, high road traffic poses a safety risk. Considering these circumstances, Holsim Lanka needed to develop a cost-effective, environmentally friendly and safe delivery strategy for their raw material. Holsim Lanka engaged the matter with an innovative logistics solution in the form of ship-to-ship -ship operation and railroad hybrid transportation strategy. The ship-to-ship -ship operation is an innovative method designed to capitalize on economies of scale while efficiently operating under local limitations. So what is ship-to-ship -ship operation? Clinker is imported from China, Vietnam and Thailand in Supramax vessels at the size of approximately 50,000 metric tons capacity to the Trincomalee Harbour. This has given us a cost advantage in terms of material cost and freight compared to imported raw material through small vessels and further enabled us to reach far-flung destinations which we could not have reached using the previous model. Once the large vessels arrive at Trincomalee, the requirement of the gold plant is unloaded to small ships at midstream inside the port and transferred to gold. Two small vessels take turns and transport clinker from the Trincomalee port to the Gaul port. Then what is a railroad hybrid model? Raw material to Puttalam plant is unloaded and stored in the warehouse awaiting transportation. Raw material like clinker, gypsum and slag and coal are filled into container boxes through a state-of-the-art loading mechanism installed to suit the operation. This mechanism consists of a hopper, a belt conveyor leading from the hopper to a tilted container and a container tilter. Each container carries 20 metric tons of cargo. Containers are transported to China Bay Station using flatbed trucks and are loaded to rail bogey container flat wagons by a top lifter. Three flatbed trucks are used in the operation. 24 containers are then loaded into one train and containers are transported from China Bay to Mahu by rail. At Mahu, the containers are unloaded into flatbed container prime movers and transported to Puttalam. Eight trucks take turns and transport laden containers to the Puttalam cement works plant.
What are the benefits of this new operations model? There are great benefits associated with the new operation mechanism. First, they contribute heavily on the well-being of the environment, promotes safety and save costs. By using 55,000 metric ton large vessels instead of many 10,000 metric ton small vessels, we have cut down the carbon footprint by 10 to 11 percent. Moving from open trucks to containerized cargo has brought spillages to zero. The railway transportation is able to reduce the number of kilometers transported by trucks from 3 million kilometers to 0.8 million kilometers and the number of trucks from 200 spot hiring vehicles to 15 dedicated trucks. This massive reduction of trucks on the road has dropped land transport carbon dioxide emission by 17% in addition to reducing road safety risk exposure. Holsim Lanka takes great measures to be innovative across our value chain to prioritize safety of our people, minimizing our environment footprint, marking the first in the logistics sector while building foundations for Sri Lanka's future.